I've seen people cook a pad see you on the street and then throw it to the guy across the street, just throwing it in the air, and then somebody has to catch it on a plate across the street, and that's how you get fired. Yo, imagine no. if you're just walking by and you just got a whole fat <laughs> you just... <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. This is a Thai episode of our Beyond series. Just like our Vietnamese episodes, we're encouraging people just to delve deeper into the cuisines they already love. So we're here with Richie and Tan to eat, debate, and share our love of Thai food. This is Beyond Pad Thai. All right, you guys, it's going Woo! down. Wow. Man, we've got wow. round after round after round. It's been organized, categorized. This is a spread. This is, yeah. a, this thai, is a spread. Mm. A Thai battle. We want to help people avoid the, the, the just going back to the three basics. Maybe what, a chicken satay, a pad thai? Right. Explore a little bit. Explore yeah. a little bit. Tan, you just said, yo, I worked at a Thai restaurant for three days. It was That's hectic. Right. Thai restaurants are. Gabe worked at a Thai restaurant too. Yeah, for Gabe, a while. yeah. Oh, Gabe. shoot. Gabe worked at Ban Thai. It's actually Seattle's oldest Thai restaurant. Yeah, I have a Thai iced tea and a Thai iced coffee. That tastes like uh, that coffee candy. The kopi? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. The first dish I ever had when it came to Thai food was Pad Thai. Right. You know, that was but fine. then I thought That's that fine. was fire fine, until yeah. I entered a whole new world. These spots are all considered like serving a mainstream audience, mm -hmm. but this is still pushing the envelope within their menu. Round one, the first battle, which is going to be the shrimp battle. These are just shrimp appetizers. Oh, it yeah. looks like a yeah. rocket. <laughs> so, so, let's, <laughs> so let's pick one up. <laughs> rocket shrimp. No, mm. that's not mm. just shrimp in there. Yeah, I was gonna say, mm. it almost is like a, wow. basically a shrimp egg roll. From what I read, it's more inspired from the Vietnamese shrimp roll. Okay, this is a really filling appetizer, mm -hmm. so. All right, Ooh. this is a shrimp roll. This one, the shrimp shined more. Mm hmm It almost tastes a little bit more like a dim sum dish. All right, oh, we got the coconut shrimp. You know, but I always like it, though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock until you eat it. Man, it was good. We got a lot of rounds to get through. Mm -hmm. what, who's your winner from round one? For me, I, I might have to go with um, the, the rocket shrimp for me. I'm going to go opposite and go with the smaller one. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with the shrimp roll, the smaller one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go with the rocket ship as well. If this is gonna be an appetizer, I would like it to ease into my meal. You know what I mean? Mm. This, the small one had a little bit too much flavor. Mm. Whatever this one is, this is good. All right, because Gabe was the tiebreaker, he has decided that the smaller shrimp roll is the winner of the first round. But so the second round out of seven, we have the chicken appetizers. Here we go, guys. This right. is chicken saute. That peanut sauce. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm. I like how they left the skin on. Yeah. I like how it's brushed with curry. Watching uh, Crazy Rich Asians, man, one of the lines that I remember was when uh, Henry Golding was like, best satay on the island. Best satay on the island, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pan A leaf and chicken. Woo! Mm. Wow, that is raw. Well, I'd say another appetizer that tastes and feels like a, mm. an entree. Wow, with a wow. little bit of that sweet soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Flavor is really in yep. there. Can you guys taste the pandan, or you would say, tough to say? I would say it's tough to say. Did you guys taste the leaf, though? Like, that actually kind of has like some slight like burn bitterness mm, a little yeah, bit yeah, to yeah, it, yeah. adding that to the fl the flavor of the chicken. Yeah. Man, I've never had that dish before. That was good. That was pretty that was good. good. That was pretty guys, the zesty Thai wings. Zesty Thai wings. The garnishes kind of overpower the uh, actual wing. Yeah. You know what kind of threw me off was uh, you know, I'm I'm big on the funk, but this was a little too funky <laughs> smelling wise when I smelled it. Was I'm the not, zesty wing a little too zesty? I'm not feeling I'm gonna say this <laughs> I'm gonna say this is worthy of, of, of the last seed. Angel wing, stuffed chicken wing. It does it, it tastes like a chicken mm. egg roll, just <clears throat> no no skin though. Yeah. You know what? I'm not a fan of this batter. This kind of breadcrumb. Because it reminds you of the coconut shrimp, man. Exactly. It just tastes too much like a frozen vegetable egg roll. If you're gonna look like that, you better come crazy with the taste. I think it's between the Gaihor Baitoi, which is the pandan leaf chicken, yep. yeah. and the chicken saute. Yeah. I'm still giving it to the saute, man. Okay. It, it takes a lot to take that down, yeah. and uh, I think <laughs> this one de definitely, what, what did you call it? Uh, Gaihor Baitoi. Pandan wrap chicken. Pandan wrap chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no I, I, you know, I try, sometimes I, I, I wonder if I, I try to make those unique picks just for the sake of it, but this time, I can't do it. For sure. Asante, Asante all-time classic. Going on to round three. Thai fish cake, famous Thai street food right here. Wow. It's like a fish sausage. Mmm. Mm. That's good. 
You can taste the herbs. Oh, it has some of that lemongrass mixed in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that Still I'm, has a fishiness taste too. Yep. Mm, crispy Man. pork. How, how do you guys compare it to a Mexican chicharron? I mean, it tastes pretty similar. Fried pork at the end of the day. Spare ribs. That's the authentic mm. sriracha sauce right there. Do you guys like it that it's more vinegary, oh, almost sweet. like lemony, slimy? I like that. I, like it better. I did. I did. I actually was um, expecting the uh, texture to be a lot rougher, mm -hmm. but mine tore apart really nicely. I can. I think I, I feel pretty confident. I don't need to marinate on it. Okay. What's your call? I'm picking the Thai spare, oh, spare ribs. Wow. Definitely. The tangy sauce too is really, really nice too. I would say the Thai spare ribs was my favorite out of these three, but I got a shout out to the fish cakes. I was gonna say the fish cakes takes it for me. I appreciate nice, uh, nice lemongrass flavor. This is round four, the protein section, crispy what? garlic chicken. David, you made a good comparison earlier. It does kind of remind me of a general sow chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Tiger steak. Never mad at I know what that tiger feels. <laughs> Never mad at crying tiger, man. Thin, you still get rare, you know, you still get the rareness, tender, and then the char. Yeah, the sauce has this like tamarind hint to it that I was not expecting. Good? Yeah, Yo, that bad. was good. That was good. Thai grilled pork. Has a good flavor. I, I know my winner, and it's uh, shocking to me a little bit. Uh, out of all the meats, I, I, I thought pork was gonna be dead last, but uh, I got that first place. Yeah? Whoa! The flavor, you said that immediately. The flavor, the flavor was good. I'm going with this one, man. Okay. Wow. I, I, remember I said flip the ratio? Look at this meat. For me, I'm actually going with the Cry Tiger, man. I would like to see <laughs> Gabe in about 10 seconds try all of them. And, and... Give it to the port. Whoa! Crazy. <laughs> okay, so the next rounds for five, six, seven, it's gonna go Ooh. noodles. You got mm. rice and then ending off with soup. Mm. I feel like this, the noodle round, really polarizing. This mm. is probably the one round out of, out of any like section of Thai food that people have strong opinions about. So, uh, named after Thailand itself, so this is Pad Thai. I haven't had Pad Thai in a very long time. <clears throat> I'm gonna say, you know, I, I miss it. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I miss the fat Thai. I have huh? not had this probably in the last 20 times I've eaten at a Thai restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it brought me like I, I will might start getting this again. Yeah, for sure. And I like how oily the noodles are. Mm -hmm. it feels nice on the uh, lips. All right, guys, this is Pat to you. We're gonna find out which is the best Thai mainstream meal. It's good. Just like the saute. Yeah. Okay. I've yet to have a bad pat to you. You're right. It's hard mm -hmm. to find a bad pat to you. A very simple dish, hard to mess up. All right, I gotta say one thing. You guys, I've seen in Thailand, you know how they're big into uh, entertainment. Yeah. Like shows and stuff. I've seen people cook a pad to you on the street and then throw it to the guy across the street, just throwing it in the air. And then somebody has to catch it on a plate across the street. And that's how you get served. Yo, imagine no. if you're just walking by and you just got a whole pad to you just <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. Thai people like to have fun with their food. Same with the Thai iced tea where they pour it in high. For sure. Really high. Yeah. From cup to cup. All right, guys. Gotta get some air in it, you know? All right, guys. Wow. This is Pad Ki Mao. The story of Pad Ki Mao is called Drunken Noodle because there was a chef who came home drunk and just grabbed whatever he could out of the fridge uh -huh. and then threw this noodle and created it. Wow. That's packed with flavor. That is packed with flavor. Mm hmm. I think when you go to a Thai restaurant, you're gonna order one of these three noodle dishes. Like, your go-to. Obviously, you got everyone that orders Pad Thai, Kimao, Pat you. I got mine, man. I'm gonna go with the Kimao noodles, man. They got a little heat, a little kick. The bamboo shoots are actually underrated. It, it, it makes the Pad Thai flavor seem a little boring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, now, I'm rolling with the Pad Kimao. <laughs> I gotta go with the Pad Kimao, too, honestly. Okay. Okay. All right, there's a reason why Pad Thai is Pad Thai, the OG. You know, I'm not gonna be different just to be different. Okay, I'm okay. Pad Thai. Fair. Okay, so here we have the three fried rices. Which one do you guys want to start off with? All right, guys, this right. is the crab fried rice. Wow, I definitely do taste the crab meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the to this spot because they, they put a, a hell of a lot of crab in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rice is soft. You know what's kind of throwing me off? Oh, the peas. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm. Not feeling the peas. I think the peas and carrots, when you see those in fried rice, um, it doesn't mean it can't be good, but it, it does mean it's a little bit more Americanized. Yeah. Pineapple fried rice. I think the more Western versions have walnuts, the walnuts and raisins. Cashews? Yeah. Yeah, cashews. cashews. Indian food, probably top five favorite cuisines to eat. And that's why I feel like I love the pineapple fried rice, because it mm -hmm. has like mm. that curry, turmeric vibe that I that I just love. Pakling mm -hmm. curry fried rice. Oh. Tastes more traditional than the other two. The rice itself has a good flavor. Tastes earthy. I would describe that as pleasant. All right, guys, what's the verdict on the fried Ooh. rice? I'm gonna go with the third one, the pekling. I just feel like that one complements uh, more of the dishes that we ate hey, so that far. Off your tongue, guys. I worked at a Thai restaurant. Hey. Oh, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when, when you pronounce something wrong, you're like, hey, I was only there three days. We pronounce it good. I worked at a Thai restaurant. In there. I, you know what? I'll give it to the newcomer. Why not? Pack and fried it, rice. Get it, get it. Um, I liked this one right here. I need the 10 second breakdown, bro. This. Pour it all. Randy Johnson got a game coming up. <laughs> Hands down. Pack clean. Pack clean. Oh! oh the, all right, man. One at a time. The restaurant. The, 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 the... Come on, man. We used to work at Thai restaurants. They restaurant. have that everywhere. Okay, last but not least for the final and seventh round, we got soups. Okay, okay, Tom Young Goon. Let's get it. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That is delicious. That was mm. really good, yeah. Mm. Was it too sweet? Some of them can be like too sweet. Very true. Very true. That's the Tom Ka. Tom Ka. This came strong in a direction, Whoa. bro. Oh my god. Oh. It's just That's too like uh, milky. It's it's too left and right for me, man. It's, it's not going straight for my palate, so I'm gonna. It's, Whoa, this that is our. That was like weird. Too it was weird. Creamy. Too creamy. Tom Yum Moo. Tom Yum Moo. Mm. Okay. Mm. Right off the bat, I appreciate the little little meatballs of ground pork. Really? I, I'm going with the Tom Yum Moo. I agree. I, I've come to appreciate the OG Tom Yum Goo. Yep. I would have to agree as well. That was that was really good. Often come down to these Thai, uh, the, the, the Thai battles. <laughs> the Thai, the Thai battles. As, as often come down, we have Thai Randy Johnson. <laughs> Thai Randy Johnson. <laughs> come on, Gabe. Please. Yeah. Uh, that's a biblical sit. One right there. Okay. What did I tell you? Oh, he's going with the Tom Yum Moo. Wow. Yeah, man. Okay. What was your guys' overall takeaways? You know, obviously, Thai food is probably one of my favorite uh, cuisines to eat. Um, there's so much more than Pad Thai, but I can see why people love Pad Thai because even I missed it. After having all this Thai food, and even some of these dishes were kind of Americanized, but I think it just goes to show you the depth of Thai cuisine. I would say for myself, uh, you know, there's been videos that we've done in the past where if you don't pick the right thing, you might go wrong. Like you might go wrong, but with this one, I feel like you could get anything that we ate and you're still in a good space. Everything is within this Thai lane yeah. and pretty like similar to each other. Yeah. So, and then also like Tan said, man, uh, my love reignited <laughs> for Pad Thai. I'm going back to the essence. I like Pad Thai. My favorite thing, whoo, uh, overall, Favorite the rice, but without anything else. <laughs> Just the rice. <laughs> That's how good the, the flavor rice of the rice. Is. Rich, you know, I'm gonna go with the uh, the, the the crispy garlic chicken, chicken. man, because uh. Thank you so much for watching that video and I think the goal of that was just to kind of inspire people and encourage people to go out and try dishes beyond what they're just comfortable with. <laughs> Every time you go out, try something. And for also sure. to uh, support your local businesses because that's really important during this time. Yes, sir. Make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, turn on your notifications, and in the comments down below, let us know what your favorite Thai dish is because I'm sure everybody out there has one. Even if it's Pad Thai, it's all good. And name one other cuisine that we gotta make a crazy battle out of. I want to give a shout out to Richie. Indian. Tan. It, Beyond it Butter there. Chicken. Okay. Oh, oh, butter Richie chicken threw it out there. All right, guys, leave it in the comments below. Uh, thank you, Richie, for letting us use your set in your office. Uh, Dave and Andrew from Fun Bros. And until next time, we out. Peace. peace. This should be the sticky rice. Break, you take a, hey, instead of breaking red, it's breaking sticky rice. Oh, man. I love it.
sticky Ooh. rice. Ooh. Moldable. Is you're, Thai you're, food you're, supposed to be eaten with your fingers? Uh, oh, it can be. Not I the noodles, but yeah, like this, this we could. Mm. Yeah. And actually, Thai people, they don't use uh, that many chopsticks. 